Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGuy21. Welcome back to Let's Play Tale of Survivor 2 Record Breaker. In the last episode, I posed a question of whether or not I should reload to an earlier save file in order to save EO. Put up a poll, and the results are in! And 75% of the uh, eight people that decided to actually vote <laughs> said to just stay the course and move on. So, okay, it looks like we're not bringing EO back. Thank you for participating. So, with that out of the way, I don't need to grind anymore. He says before he gets his ass absolutely handed to him on a silver platter. By Mizar for the third time in a row. Let me just make sure I got the proper demons all set up here. For today, we're going to defeat Mizar and end the day properly this time. I swear to God, if I don't, I'm going to be pissed. Rather extremely annoyed and pissed off. God, that's going to haunt me for a while. Also, I got two cats in the room today. We got Ash, who is a uh, who is quickly becoming the uh, affectionate cat that won't leave me alone. And Pint, who's too busy looking through my dresser. Okay, we got uh, the team all set up here. Do I want to change out any skills? Yes, I probably should do this because I got a bunch of new things. Alright, let's... And I may need to swap out people as well. Okay, first off, let me see here, what do I need for healing? M just playing magic? What about recarm? Yeah, just magic. Okay, so anyone that has higher than 13 magic can join the squad. So Otome, Joe, Irie, so that's three. Daisuke is the bare minimum. Fumi is just maxed out on, uh magic, so... Oh, Jugo's maxed out on strength. Okay, so Mako... Daichi, Fumi, Otome, Joe, and Airi are the only ones that I should be worrying about. Yes, Pint, that's sunlight. I wouldn't recommend trying to go into that section of the room because you're more likely to get stuck in there. Okay, so. Otome's coming, Fumi is coming. And Joe. Because they're the ones with the highest magical stat. Okay. Fumi, you're going to be the main damage dealer for that. We're going to give you Agidine. But here's the thing. You can't boost up fire at all. That requires strength, which Joe is one point away from, which pisses me off. Okay, in that case... Holy Dance. Judgment. And Dream Eater. Passive skills. Mana Stream. Uh, we're gonna do Swift Step. And our final skill will be... Go with dodge. Auto skills. Debilitate. Otome, we're gonna do Meteor Raw Hen and Recarm. As well as give you the ability to do something at the very least. So we're gonna go with.
We're gonna go with, uh... I stands for some coverage. We're gonna give you mana bonus. Give you Ice Amp, so Ice Dance hits hard. And our final skill will be... Oh, uh, let's go with, uh, Anti... Let's go with anti ailment because it's annoying. Gonna go with weaken. And I'll fix up my, uh. I'll fix up my, uh, team after I'm done fixing the skills here. That way we can make synergistic and coverage combos. Should also resummon some people too. Now that I think about it, and we'll finish it off. We'll finish Joe off. Joe's skill set first. Okay, Joe. Augedine can't use fire amp, but we can use fire boost. But wait, will Augedine do more damage than fire dance? We'll do fire dance actually, because that can hit two to five times, which. Theoretically, can hit more damage than Agidine, even though it's a uh, technically a lower damage tier. Okay, we're gonna give you that, and electric dance just to be coverage, and our last skill will be drain. Mana surge. And our last skill is... Anti-Curse. Auto Blitzkrieg. Marksman. Actually, no. There we go. Fumi, Magic Yang, that'll help you out. That way we can have debilitate. Since I'm not using any uh, support skills at all for Hero, I might as well just uh, have an auto skill use up his MP. Okay, we're gonna have Life Stream. Physical Amp. And our good buddy, Pierce. Oh yeah, I also need to check to see how well I'm doing with the anti-stuff. Well... I can do a lot of things, actually. Actually... Hmm. I may- actually, I may swipe out livestream for something different now that I think about it. Okay, we're gonna do... Mighty Hit. Multi-Strike. And, uh... 
Too bad drain hit isn't a skill. Power charge. Okay, since I'm not going to be doing any uh, physical based ones, I might as well do something else. We got Pierce, Fizz, Amp, and... Yeah, we're going to actually go with null physical because I'm sick and tired of getting hit by that. Actually, no. Even better. Propel physical. Hmm? Who scratched against the door? Oh, you two are just playing. All right. Now we uh, enter up the compendium. Uh, let's get uh, Billiken back and Hakate back. Alright. Okay, first off. I need to f sort out this list. That's better. Okay, so Zocho Ten. Go back on the physical team. Preston can go with us. Seriu can go with Fumi. Same with Tawin. Jean d'Arc can go with Otome. Bilkin can go towards... Joe. Hakate has to go with Joe because he does not ha... Actually, no. Wait. Has to go with Otome because she does not have a way to regain any MP. So, yeah, Tyranny's gonna help. One last demon. Python for Joe again? Or someone else? Yeah, we're gonna go with Python. Alright, looks like we got the team and the demons set up. Are you two still playing or do you want to go out? Okay, you're just playing. All right. They're not scratching at the door, so they don't want to go out of the room. So let's go. Let's move. Here we go again. Round three. Ah, uh, I've been waiting for. Okay, we're back with a vengeance. And I still haven't gotten that, which is annoying. Okay, now that both times I've decided to split up the party to make this go a little bit faster, but it ends up backfiring heavily after I'm halfway through the fight. Tells me I actually need to keep the group semi together. 
And now they want out. Of course they do. Well, that's one. Don't know if a uh, pint's going to want to go out, though. I think he's having too much fun just lying around in a, in a stool I made for... Woodshop in middle school. Anyway, okay, so... Fumi's the one that can move around the board extremely fast, so she doesn't have a problem with catching up to anyone. Joe has the highest range. Okay, so Fumi and Joe will uh, work towards this side. We'll move towards the right. While Hiro and Otome will provide support in the back. Two, three, four. So back here is fine. Ish, maybe. Jeez, this thing is annoying. Just get eaten. And now we have pint wanting to go up. Can you cats just make up your minds at the same time? Okay, and I'm free! Alright, now with those two distractions out of the way... Do I want to blitz him right at the start? Yes. Holy Dance, Double Strike, Berserk. Jesus! Well, that definitely works. Separated from us, blah, 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 blah. Just a little more miser will be to feel. Let's do our best. Oh, Otome, you're a ball of sunshine. And for that reason, we're going to take care of this bird. Yeah, okay, I think Otome's gonna be fine. Man, this is so dramatic, I gotta get a picture up. Damn it, no time. Good on you, Joe. Python, evil flow. Move forward. Let's take care of one of these bulbs. Okay, so no matter what, Hero's gonna be able to go before that, so let's take care of the one that we possibly can't get to. Let's Krieg! A fire dance! Ufudine! Uh. Attack! Okay, that's one down. Let's focus on taking down the little ones. Okay, so, uh. 
I may have grinded up a little bit, but uh, the first phase is easy. Ha <laughs> ha! Eat it. Oh, this is gonna suck. Or not. That works. Okay, hero. We're gonna stand over here. Attack this stupid thing. Debilitate. Let's see how much damage multi-strike does. Hagidine. And attack. I would say a decent amount of damage. You're going for... Fumi. That's not the worst in the world. Because Dragon Bind's a thing. Wow, Dragon Bind plus Dodge Physical? That's actually a good combo. Well, Hakate's been turned to stone. Great. Not the worst in the world. But annoying, to say the least. Alright, let's get rid of another one. Holy Dance, Double Strike, Berserk. Man, this guy's tenacious. Come on, guys. Once more into the breach. Funny. And turn. You're gonna move, you're gonna move. Well, first off, we're gonna take care of Abaddon over here so he stops being a prick. That's actually fine there, buddy, because I can just revive her, so thanks for that. Thank you, Abaddon. Do we need anti-most right now? I'll take it and replace anti-ailment. Okay, now we just cast Meteor Rawhen. And then turn. Joe, my man! Let's see. If I move here... Damn it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jesus! Well, if I can attack a bulb right now, I might as well do it. Python, evil flow. God damn that range. God damn I'm out of range. I just wasted MP for no reason. Son of a whore. Alright, well. Wait. Don't stand. Actually, yeah, stand there because we reflect physical. He can't do anything. We reflect physical, so let's not worry about it. Nothing in range. Maybe I should swap uh, Python and Kresnik. Get out of my way. Can't attack anyone. 
That's not gonna work for you, pal. Ooh, debilitate, even better. Nice try. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well... Uh... Yeah, fuck it. Might as well do this. Fire dance, Bufudine, attack. Was that enough? It was! Maybe it's me, but I think that arm shrunk. Let's keep attacking it and see. Oh, Joe, you're hilarious. Attain skill set. All right. Have it on the fail. Um, we're actually gonna end turn there because I want to get rid of these bulbs first before I attack the arm. That sucks. Okay, I need to get Fumi away from danger. Or at the very least, back to, uh... Just hit everyone till they're dead. That works. You're all going for Otome. That's annoying. Please stop. rings. Okay, it's fading faster. That's fine. Joe, get in there and help. Actually, it really doesn't matter because they'll be able to swing back no matter what I, where I am. So, yeah, might as well get closer to the arm where it lands. I guess my better judgment. Uh, yeah, let's go with you. Excuse me. Fire dance, Bufudine. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Another one bites the dust. Uh, Fumi, you actually head back to that end. Because there's nothing here that this fucker can do that can hit Hero right now. So instead, let's have Fumi get back to this side so she can get healed. Ice Dance, Bufudine. Uh, Bufudine. Oh, 
Well, that works. Oh, Hakata can heal herself. But, uh... Let's have Meteor Rod Hand do it. Might as well have the whole party get uh, healed. Okay, let's get to the uh, arm. Actually, it'd probably be better if I just attack normally. Actually, no, power charge. Agudine, Agudine. Uh, let's see how much a normal attack does once power charged. 800! I probably could have waited another turn. Well, again, this thing wants to live. Too bad that means destroying the world. We're almost there. Okay, Fumi. You're getting close. And turn. Hero, you can't progress because the buds are in the way, so let's take care of these idiots. Ain't nobody got time for you guys. So fuck off. Plus, I didn't even move, so I can take care of both of these bulbs at the same time. Okay, I guess the old man's going somewhere on the buggy. Alright, that takes care of that. Joe! Well, actually, we may be able to just, uh, take care of this right now. Fire dance. Bufudine. Holy Dance, might as well. Good god, that star pressure hits hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, uncanny form! Yes! It's a good thing I looked. Life drain. Well, it's not gonna matter if he's dead. All right, now we can move back to the other side. So Fumi didn't actually need to move anywhere. Oh, what are you gonna do? Eat it, jerk. I mean, I can. Ha Ah, might as well have her be revived anyway. Okay, Recarm. Talwin. Might as well, right? Actually, fuck it, might as well just end it right now. I probably even didn't probably didn't even need to grind. I probably could have just done this if I was being. If I, blah, 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 blah. At best, the only thing I needed to grind up was a few extra skills that I need that I wanted. But I probably could have gotten away with beating this last time if I was smarter about my uh, party and uh, skill choices. I should have done fire dance. Ha! Nice try. I'm prepared for you this time, you bitch. Mighty hit. End this. 12k! My our tentacles have been severed. Get eaten!
Thump. Now that looks adorable. And it turned to stone. Was that supposed to happen? Whoa, just, whoa! The head just kind of plopped there. It's not moving. Is it dead? Did it eat too much? That was an amazing swallow. The dragon chowed down like an expert speed eater. Can you all hear me? Mizar has been completely eliminated. You have won. Seriously? Hells yeah! We did it! <laughs> That'll teach you to mess with me, you miserable Mizar! <laughs> First of all, well done. The pawns may be celebrating, but surely you understand. Time is short. I was just informed that Yokohama City was swallowed by the void. And that's not the only one. Oh, joy. You have a valid point. It's very close. The void was never expanding at the same speed in all directions. The barrier's collapse has triggered steady incursion by the void. There's no more time. I will begin gathering allies to wipe out the other factions. I don't know if you will side with me or not. I have high expectations. Well, balls, time to make a choice. Miser has been defeated, yet the Dragon Stream can no longer protect the seas from the void. We won! It was close, but we pulled through yet again. If we can keep this up, then whatever the next enemy is, I'm sure we can rock it. Oh, right. Before we start talking about the next enemy, there's another problem to deal with. The will of the species? Yeah. I get the feeling it's gonna be a big problem soon. I'm not really feeling the merit system or the whole forced equality thing. What about you? Have you... made up your mind which way to go? Still thinking about it. Still thinking about it. I thought so. It's hard to decide one way or the other. Neither seems right to me. What should I do? I... I guess I'll think about it a little more. Why don't you go check on the others? Oh, this ought to be good. Polaris, free bow, Steve's chief's stance. Might as well talk about Polaris. Hey, look who it is! Hello, Shining One. We meet again. Perfect timing. Perfect? Ah, I see. Are you having doubts? You seem troubled. In the middle of a goddamn cutscene? Phone, I will throw you across the wall! Or, you know, rip the goddamn batteries out of it. People have cell phones for a reason. Stop calling the house. Let me see. From Yamato Hotsui, you learned of Polaris. You now know a way to reform the world using Polaris's power. However, differences in opinion are preventing your group from reaching a consensus. Now you search for the right path. Am I correct? Bingo! Yeah. Who is this guy? <laughs> I am glad to be correct. I am not your enemy. Surely you see that. Then let me tell you all I can regarding your current doubts. What? Really? What should we do? Is there anything we need to ask him? Oh, uh, let's ask him about Polaris. As mentioned before, Polaris is at the heart of the entire issue. She is the administrator. Ruler of all that is. So why erase the world in the first place? You mean why is Polaris doing so? The world, or rather humanity, has lost its purpose for living. 
In Polaris's eyes, this simply meant that the species could not improve any further. They have stopped their own growth. In other words, you have been deemed an unnecessary existence in this world. Whoa! Stop messing around! Polaris gets to decide that all on her own? Th that's insane! You are free to interpret it as you wish. As for me, to be honest, I find it an undesirable circumstance. So, you gave us demons in their case. I can tell you why I granted you the ability to summon demons. I foresaw Polaris's judgment of you. And if Hotsuin's wards, the barriers, protected you from Polaris's attack, I knew the Septentrions would come next. Thus, I bestowed upon you the power to summon demons to oppose this turn of events. So, uh, why are you protecting us in the first place? When I met you humans long ago, I saw within you the potential for true freedom. That is why I gave you everything you desired. Fire, language, art. Then you rose to meet that potential. From it, something wonderful bloomed. Culture. Hold on. You're telling me you gave humans fire and language? Seriously? I mean, everything else he's said has been true so far. Shining One, I wish to ask you something. You see, within humans I saw the potential for freedom and tried to cultivate it. Yet, the sprouts I planted became overgrown, if you'll excuse the metaphor. Humanity has lost its purpose for living. In other words, it may be I who invited Polaris' judgment upon you. Shining One, tell me, was I mistaken? Am I truly your friend? Still, if you are the one who gave humans culture, I mean, that's amazing. We should be thanking you far more than this. And because of all that, now we have to deal with this massive burden. Oh, this is too complicated. Come on, say something, you! You know, you have not given us a reason to say otherwise, so you're our friend, buddy. I see. I'm honored. I know this state of affairs is hardly just. Yamato Hotsui monopolizes all information about the crisis. With his followers, he is attempting to open the path to Polaris and fulfill his ambitions. Polaris is the administrator of all that is. However, the ideals upon which worlds rise are of no interest to her. The only relevant condition for humanity's continued existence is whether or not they have lost sight of their purpose. Yamato Hotsuin will exploit this to his advantage by accepting Polaris's rule. He likely plans to use Polaris's power to modify the root of human will to follow his merit system, thus realizing his own ambitions. The, the root of human will? He wants to brainwash us into his meritocracy? Is that even possible in the first place? Certainly. Polaris sits astride the throne of heaven. Nothing is impossible for her. Yamato Hotsuin would define what is right to the administrator and craft a new world along those lines. This is beyond your knowledge, but in the history of the world, this is not without precedent. You should make haste, Shining One. If Yamato Hotsuin gains an audience with Polaris, little good shall come of it. The will of humanity shall be fundamentally altered. All will be subject to a world where might reigns supreme. Well, that's not ominous at all. Decision day. Chief stance. I got a feeling this is uh, the one that decides the ending. So I am going to save. Goodbye, Eo. You will be missed. Chief Stats. Oh, it's you. I didn't think to encounter you here. What are you doing here? Testing a hypothesis. I was looking for other civilians. I thought perhaps I might find more like you. It seems to have been for naught. A waste of time. They are frightened, 
fleeing, hiding in hopes that danger will pass. Like small animals. No wonder Polaris decided to annihilate us. I would crush them myself if I could. <sighs> what was I thinking? Huh? Ah, gentlemen, what timing. Oh, lucky day. Who are you? This batch just finished cooking. Would you like some? It's simply divine. Is this... made of carbohydrates? Business has gone dry, as you can see. So I use the very last of my ingredients. This is my masterpiece. I do not require your civilian hospitality. No, no, I insist. Young men like you need to eat. Enjoy. I'll see you around. <laughs> yeah, sure, you sound trustworthy. What is this, exactly? The High King of the Street, Junk Food, Cheap and Easy, is Takoyaki. Is this something you people eat? It looks... dubious, at best. You've never had Japanese street corner food, have you? No matter. I have no use for civilian foodstuffs. You could at least take a bite out of it. It's not exactly the most appetizing thing. Hmm. Alright, alright. If you are so committed, I will try one. Only to broaden my horizons. Ridiculous. Silly thing. A vulgar food. What? What? What on earth? <laughs> well? You are a strange one. You defy my predictions, know this unknown world, and constantly surprise me. <laughs> I've never met anyone who so betrayed my expectations. It seems I was correct in my judgment. Perhaps with you... Hmm. Hooray, we had Yamato get some new food. Well, he's at rank 4. What good will that do? <laughs> he hasn't joined my party yet. Wait, how far can I go? I can get Yamato to rank 5, can't I? <sighs> well, I might as well. How good of you to come. I was expecting you. I don't give autographs. Dare I ask why? I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Dare I ask why? I want to speak with you. You know why. You understand my ideals, don't you? You make a compelling argument. Clever as always. I want you. Now more than ever. Um, I beg your pardon? I'll not mince words. Be my right hand. Your achievements leave no doubt in my mind as to your talents. With all your natural ability, how did you remain hidden for so long? <laughs> it is not worth considering. It's because the old society was structured poorly. They forced mediocrity on those with true gifts and treat them as any other imbecile. Then they had the gall to call it right. That's the reality of the old society. Stupidity to its very core. You feel it, don't you? The foolishness? The arrogance? Oh, the problem is, Yamato, you can't force this on the people, otherwise we have problems. But I see the point of your argument. This is the worst part. Hell, I agree with your argument. I just don't like the brainwashing aspect at the end of this plan. As you should. That broken society is gone. There is nothing blocking your path now. From now on, if you stay with me, your talents will be allowed to thrive. It is for your good and the good of all the world. This, I believe. Think about it. I'll be waiting. Okay, decision time!
I heard Gyps is gathering in Osaka. Some guy named Rinaldo was gonna fight them. What a waste. There are monsters everywhere. Why are we fighting each other? The will of the species is being cobbled together. Is this also mankind's nature? Shining One, the hour of choosing is fast approaching. Yeah, what choosing? The hour of snoozing? <laughs> <laughs> I see. I'm glad you understand. You must make a choice. Yamato Hotsui, Rinaldo Kuriki, or perhaps another option. Just as those two say, if Polaris rebuilds the world, there will be stability. Under one unified will, man will be separated from the agony of his fallen nature. But will that be a satisfying existence? Uh, yes, no, I don't know, actually. That's the problem here. We don't know how people are going to react and act. Then let me alter the question. If man turns against Polaris in their search for freedom, the world may fall into chaos again. But that world will become full of humans, each one filled with boundless potential. Do you wish to be free? Or will you swear allegiance to Polaris? Ooh. I think no matter what I say, I'm going to be forced into an ending anyway, so fuck it. I'd rather be free, personally. <sighs> Humanity's potential has far outstriped my expectations. The time to make a decision draws ever closer. I will await your answer, Shining One. <laughs> Rank one. Oh, he's now nullifying fire and electricity. What the fuck? He gets nullification while the other gets resistance? What is this bullshit? You have a new email. Nice. What? What the hell is this? Ho! Oh hell no! There you are! Hey! Hey! Did you see that video we just got? Damn it! Now it's Makoto? Oh, hell to the... No. No, 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 no. Eo is bad enough. I'm not getting Mako shot. I don't know. She's not answering her phone. Ronaldo's in it, so it must be at the Nagoya branch, right? Not only that, Ronaldo's gonna kill her. This is bad. Real bad. Is this seriously gonna happen? He may be right. He just might do it, but... I, I just don't get it. I mean... I can't imagine killing someone close to me. Where'd he get a gun? Oh wait, detective. They have a license for that. Even though getting that license is a gigantic pain in the bureaucracy ass. Exactly. What could make people turn on each other like that? Now's not the time for questions though. We gotta get to the Nagoya branch, now! Holy shite balls. Uh, yeah, sure, just give me another boss fight. After, with only less than five minutes on the clock. Yeah, okay, game. I see how you do. I see how you do. Yeah, no, I'm not falling for it this time. I've done that plenty of times already. I'm not going over an hour just for a boss that I think is going to be able to be done in less than five minutes. Hell no. Oh boy, well that's a fucking train wreck. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGod21. This has been Let's Play Double Survivor 2 Record Breaker. And next episode... Ugh. We save Makoto. Or die trying, at the very least. But until then, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you all next time.